We write down what we know first. Maybe. 824 grams of NH3. Now, the first thing I need to do is get rid of grams to get to moles. So, what I'm going to do is multiply by the inverse of the molar mass of ammonia. All right. What does one mole of ammonia weigh? We got N and three H's. Round it off to the whole numbers. How much nitrogen weigh? 14, and we got three hydrogens, so Fortuna, 17. All right. Now, we cancel out the grams by doing that. Now, we want to get to moles of NO. What door do we need to go through? Which is called the mole ratio. So, we want to get to moles of NO. What we're getting to is always on top. What we're getting away from is on the bottom. What's the mole ratio from our equation up there between NO and NH3? It's kind of messy. What's the number in front of NO? Four. Front of number in front of NH3? Four. Can we simplify that? One to one. So somebody, not me, tell me what 824 divided by 17 is. 824 divided by 17. Forty-eight, forty-eight point four seven moles of N O. That is the correct final answer. It has the units and the substance, and obviously the number. So what we did, step one, we wrote down what we knew. All right, that's where you always start can't start anywhere. You can't start with what you don't know because you don't know it. What you know. Step two is multiplying by the inverse of the molar mass because what that does is get us from grams to moles. All right, we're trying to get rid of grams to get to moles. Now, and then the next thing is we're going through our door, which is the mole ratio, which gets us away from NH3 and gets us to N2. Once we cancel everything out that we can because this is again just like fractions our units are left over moles of nitrogen monoxide and we just do the math you multiply by the top divide by the bottom so 824 divided by 17 comes up with that And you'll have more practice to do on this. And I will post these videos up today. What do we got here? Ooh. Step two, yep. Could you also um, find the mass ratio and then just set it up as in um, the mass ratio of what is it, NH3? That's what we did here. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I set up the map yeah, ratio yeah, and then just zoom well, really over the map ratio and all, and then times it by um, 824 in HD, and then over X, and then just cross multiply. Yeah, whatever way gets you there. This is kind of a step by step. Let's do another example. Let's we're not going to do mass to mass today, but I do want to get you ready for the lab tomorrow. Um, let's take a problem that'll be from your homework. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to find one here. Okay. Well, let's just do this. Let's keep it simple. I'm going to take the equation for water. All right? Here's the equation for creating water. Guys, creating water. Is this balanced? How do we do it? This one you should be able to do in your sleep. <laughs> two here and a two here. I'm going to tell you what the known is. We're going to have 900 grams of water. All right, that's where we're going to start with. Here's what we're going to say I need to get to. How many moles of oxygen do I need? All right. So let's step through this. What do I know? What do I know? So that's the first thing I'm going to write down. I'm going to go through this a little slower. Next, because moles is always how we get from place to place, I want to get rid of my grams of water and get to moles of water. So grams of water go on the bottom. And moles always gets a one. How much does water weigh? What's the molar mass of water? <coughs> molar mass of water. 18. All right. Then, because I want to get to moles of oxygen, that will go up on top. And I want to get rid of the moles of water. That's what I want to get away from. What is the mole ratio between oxygen and water? One to two. Now, can I cancel anything out? Unit wise? Tell me what I can cancel out. Go left to right. Can I get rid of grams of H2O? Yep. Yeah. Just like fractions. Can I get rid of moles of H2O? Yeah. Yes, because it's up here and it's down here. So, what units are I left with? Moles of oxygen. Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah. Yep. So, as I said, 900 times 1 times 1 divided by 18 divided by 2. Multiply the tops, which you don't have to. Divide by the bottom. Somebody do that for me. No, it's 900 divided by 18. That answer divided by 2. What do you get? 25. 25. I've heard that number twice. Does anybody else get that? 25. It is? Yeah, you get 25. Okay, 25. So that is my final answer.
But now, we're going to have lab for the next two days, and I will put up more help stuff and help you here. We're going to skip mass to mass today because this took a little longer than I thought. Um, everybody that did the Ed Puzzle, it's put into the grade book. If you didn't do it, you got the big hole in your grade. Now, what I want you to do right now is go to classroom and whoop, what happened? Whoa, here we go. It's happening. Go to go to Google Classroom. And you will see the Michigan stoichia, stoichiometry experiment there. And what you have to do tonight, everybody needs to listen, or right now if you can stay another, you know, 20 minutes. Okay. Here's what you have to just calm down, Chase. <laughs> I'm saying you guys will have to do it tonight. The rest of these guys can do it before they leave. All right, what you have to do is write these equations out and have them balanced for tomorrow. All right, so I would use your class time right now to write those equations out and balance them in case you might have a question or two. You might need your polyatomic sheet. So, write these out and balance them. See ya. See ya, Chase. Get out of here.